Hi, and welcome to my review of the S-Wing Shore Strike Hammer. Now, before we get into the review, I just wanted to let you know that I will be building a kitchen uh, film set as well as an unboxing setup um, at, at my house. Now, if you want to follow the progress of this, you want to see this uh, go through to completion, then please do subscribe to the channel. It lets me know that what I'm doing is worthwhile, um, and obviously every subscriber helps. Now, um, I will also be unboxing and doing other reviews of tools, so if you do want to see those or you've got some specific um, products that you want to be reviewed, drop me a comment down below and I'll make sure that I grab those tools and give you an honest review on them. Now going into the Shaw Strike Hammer, um, I should be able to put up uh, an Amazon page here. The price in the UK is about 20 to 22 pounds. In the US, I will double check and drop the US price here. Now, I bought this hammer about four or five weeks ago. It's been my daily driver since. Um, I've been using it on roofing work um, for a fixing batten, um, as well as tiles and slates. Honestly, <laughs> you'll see why um, from, from the clips I'm gonna put up, but it's not been my favorite hammer. There's, there's a few things with it. Initially, I purchased it because of the flat top um, on, on the hammer. Now, I was seeing this as, as potentially enabling me to get into tighter spots. Realistically, it doesn't work. A rounded end um, works much better for that purpose uh, because the, these sharp edges here tend to catch on things um, when, you're, when you're in tight spaces. Now, a couple of things with the hammer that really, really have annoyed me. Um, one, the stickers. Um, so you're purchasing an S-Wing hammer, you're obviously purchasing what is in, in hammer terms a luxury brand. The branding is only stuck on with stickers and as you can see from my hammer, these are very near coming off. Overall, the wear and tear has been diabolical on this hammer. Um, I'll put up another clip showing the, the rust on the front. Kind of go over everything that we think is happening, hype everyone up, and then when the event starts... This has been used in drier weather conditions, more or less. I mean, some of the batter might have been a little bit damp, but other than that, it's been in dry conditions, been stored in a dry van, been stored um, at home as well in, in a dry place. So it's not been the best condition and wear for only a, a matter of weeks. You compare that to a traditional West Wing hammer, which you can have for 40 years, this doesn't appear um, to be of the same quality or indeed like it will hold up the same over the longer term. The the finish on the hammer, there is some exposed metal um, on, on the front um, as well as on the side. The rest has um, a, a paint of some form or a coating on it. Um, which is there to protect it, I guess, but that seems to be coming off as quickly as the stickers. The thing is the handle sort of pops on and off. I don't know if you can see that. I'll, I'll put up another clip, um, maybe showing that a bit better. But for a hammer that you expect, um, and from a brand that you would expect to outlast any other, really, um, it, it doesn't appear to be built of the same quality and to the same standards as any other S-Wing hammer I've ever owned or, or ever seen. Um, in addition to that, the, the weight and the balance um, of the hammer, it may not mean anything to anyone, but just for the sake of comparison, um, is about here, where, where my index finger is. On a normal S-Wing, it's about 10 to 15 mil higher um, up the shaft. Now, that could well be due to this being a 16 ounce model, um, it could just be a, a slight difference in, in the construction. I've noticed that the, the rear end of the hammer is solid, whereas on my other S-Wing uh, with the blue handle, um, that bit has a tiny bit of flex in it. Doesn't really affect you, so I mean, not many people hold a hammer right at the base, but uh, just for the sakes of comparison, um, there, there's some details there. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on restoring an old S-Wing hammer, um, then do go and have a look. Apologies for the audio quality. Uh, I couldn't find the dongle to go with the microphone, so it's a little bit little bit rubbish, and you could probably hear my dog running about in the background. So, um, so that's that. As I say, please do subscribe to the channel. 
it lets me know that it's worth doing more of these. Um, also, if you're into cooking, um, I am doing a few cookbooks, hence the um, kitchen um, film set that's being built um, or will be built in, in the coming weeks and months. Um, if you've got any other products that you do want me to review, drop me a comment, like the video, hit the bell icon if you can. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you again on the channel soon. Thank you very much. A couple of videos that I'll be doing on the top five or top 10 hammers um, and top five or top 10 um, professional hammers in the market at the moment. So if you want to check that out, they'll be uploaded soon. Cheers, thank you very much.